If you handle several social media accounts, managing different pages and different platforms, this video is exactly for you. Today I'm going to talk about the easiest ways to handle multiple social media accounts without having to spend a lot of money. But before that, make sure you do subscribe to Kepanads. I post videos regularly mostly about software, video editing, informative tips and tutorials that could help you in your digital career. Now in this video, I'm also going to be covering a walkthrough to a platform that has helped me centralize my social media task, which as you can see in the title, is called Radar. It's an online web-based platform and they've also recently launched their mobile app so it can get access wherever you are. So the very first thing you should do is to have a style guide for each industry. If you see some pages with lots of design varieties, colors, it pretty much tells us that there's no coordination among the graphic designers. So having your brand style guide intact is absolutely important. And once you have it planned, prepared your social media posting materials, you can start plotting out your schedule. If we look at Radar, this is the one I use because it gives me all the features that I need for my social media marketing and it doesn't really take much to learn the platform. So let me just show you how using a social media management software such as Radar will help you increase productivity, thus giving you more time to function on other tasks. As you can see, this is my calendar. I've plotted some postings for some pages already and if I want to add one post which I want to see on, let's say for platforms, I can simply go to new post or schedule a post then choose my post posting timing. Now with Radar, it shows the average number of followers who is online on a particular day and time, which helps you determine the best practices for your social accounts. Also, you want to hit the best time when your audience are most active and online on social media to add up to the number of impression and engagements you get. This is determined by your time zone and the day and hour your followers get to see your post and most likely to interact or engage. And then you can add channels. You can choose whether you want that post on all of your social media platforms or in specific ones only like Facebook, IG, or Twitter and what kind of post it will be, a photo, a video, gallery, or multiple images, link, text, or a story. And you can add your caption and be able to use other features as if you're posting from the main platform itself. Like for example, you can turn the bell on if you want to receive notification for that post, add chain comment, tag a user, even include your location, hashtag, and so on. Now, I just want to add a little insight about hashtags. You can find Radar's hashtag manager on utilities. So here, they also have URL shortener and you can basically get hashtag ideas. They feature the most popular ones and you can also save your own hashtags that you can use for your future postings. Although to be honest, this 2021, hashtags aren't much as powerful now as it was in the previous years, especially on Instagram. As you know, the algorithm keeps changing and changing but it's not completely dead. You just want to make sure to keep at least three to five hashtags that are closely related to your post and not bombarded with too many hashtags because not only it shows the desperation to get more reach, it can also look a bit spammy. However, if you really need to add lots of hashtags in your post, you can do one check to post a caption without hashtags, then add hashtags on your comment section or simply add your hashtags to the very end part of your caption. Moving on, as a social media manager, you must know and understand the importance of analytics. And if you have multiple accounts from different platforms, it is very time consuming to check their insights one by one compared to when you have a software that gets all together in one place which Radar also specializes in. The good thing about it is that I can choose which data I like to know about. Like for example, if I want to know the performance of my Facebook impression, engagement, or reviews, I can simply add on my board. Radar allows you to export or download your data into PNG, SVG, or CSV file. So you have your reports ready anytime. Finally, if we talk about resourcefulness, Radar offers some more. In fact, a lot. I can see all the messages of my pages in one place. I can customize whether I want to see messages alone or the post or the comment, reviews, mentions because you want to make sure you reply to your audience, right? And keep the engagement continuously growing. Radar also lets you create a task board or a workspace for you and your team so it can add multiple users here, assign tasks, and be able to monitor their progress. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of Radar based on my experience in using the platform. I have been using it for almost a month now because again, I wanna make sure I've covered all of its features and its overall performance. For the pro side, it's super easy to use, plus they made tutorials available for you in each set so there's no way that you get confused. The interface is very clean, the resources help you to be even more organized and productivity wise, I am really liking Radar. There were times when I just feel so happy in a way that I'm able to post in multiple platforms in just one 
one sitting so totally recommending it for social media management on the other side the only thing i could comment on is the instagram part i've encountered some technical issues when posting on instagram sometimes it's working but i have two accounts which postings couldn't get accepted even if i'm already on a business account so i'm looking forward for it to get fixed as soon as possible second thing which is really more of an improvement is that i'm hoping they can add youtube in the future because as you know youtube is my main platform and sometimes i'd like to think whatever i post on facebook will also be on youtube or vice versa and it will also be great to have TikTok. I've just created a new TikTok account for Cup and Ads. You guys can also check it out for short tips and tutorials. And that's pretty much it. Overall, I am impressed and satisfied with what the software can do for my productivity speed. You can check out more about Radar and their pricing options on the link below or simply type radar.io. I have also linked some helpful ebook guide that could help you find best practices for your marketing strategy. If you know any other software that you'd like me to look into, just comment below and share your thoughts as well. And if you think this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out an update.